Hi, this is Mike from National Auto Lock Service. I'm going to show you how to code up Stratech Lock 707624. It comes as a kit. You get the grease, the lock housing, the lock cylinder, the key buzzer, the detent spring and wall, the tumbler springs, and then five different groups of tumblers, enough to code up any standard Ford in this code series, which is 0001X to 1706X. For this demonstration, we cut a key to key code 1234X, and then we're just going to cut it up, code it up, excuse me. This lock only uses seven positions, even though there's eight cuts in the code we're only going to use seven and out of those seven is two through eight so the first cut is not used anywhere in the ignition lock so our bidding for this is the first cut is going to be a five so we'll grab a tumbler spring drop it into the first position and then drop in our number five Spin it around, put in the next tumbler, put in the spring first. Some people put all the springs in it the first time and then put a little glue over it. That's not a bad idea in this case where the springs are flying all around while I'm trying to show you this. Okay, so we're at 5-5. Five, five. Next one is 4. Spin it around again. Next cut is another 5. Then the last three are three, two, four. So three right here, two right here, spin around for the last one, and we have four. You notice we didn't use any one tumblers or any two tumblers, one two tumbler, excuse me. So we can save those to build our own kit spare parts. So we're going to take the key here. There's no sidebar on this lock. It's just basically tumblers, nothing else. All your security is now in the transponder. So here it is coated up. As you can see that the tumblers are all at the shear line, but we still have more work to do and that's putting it together, which is a little bit more work than one would think. So we'll stick the key in. We'll put our key buzzer in, which is made of this high quality plastic <clears throat> and drop it in place there that's how it sits okay now the hardest part of putting this together is getting this detent spring and the ball bearing right here they give you two because you know one's gonna go flying easily and getting it all together so the first thing you want to do is hold back the little key minder tab here with your finger and then slide the cylinder in but we should probably put some grease on it grease never hurt anything okay so we're going to slide some down here some here of course as soon as I turned it over I lost the key buzzer so I'll put that back in I'll put a little grease on it that should hold her in place Okay, put a little grease over it. We're just going to take the grease and right, wrap it around the cylinder like that. Okay, now we're going to once again slide it in. This key minder tab sticks into the keyway, so we're going to want to protect it and not bend it. So we're going to just use our fingernail to hold it back. Just enough to get it in place. Okay, we got this part together, but by no means are we done. So we're going to lift out the tab here to get the release pin, and we're going to rotate the cylinder until we could see that hole where this detent spring needs to go. We're going to drop that in. That's easy. 
Next part is we're going to put a little grease in because hopefully that will keep one of the detent balls from flying. Now, they, once again, they give you two, but you only need one. So maybe I should put a little grease on my hand to catch this sucker. Okay, so we're going to drop it right on top. Now, take a ballpoint pen. while maintaining pressure and then you're going to use that to push the detent ball down. Any other way I don't think you're going to get it to stick very well. So let's give that a try. Of course this is more of an exercise in patience than it is anything else. Of course it comes off spring and you end up having to uh, take things apart. We're going to push it down, rotate the cylinder at the same time we're pushing down. See if we can get it to stick. Easier said than done. All the way down. Nope. <laughs> I just heard that one fly out and hit the light above me. Great. So we will take one more. We have loaded up here with grease. And this was supposed to be really cool and professional looking and easy and all that and this has turned out to be just the mother of all not going right for your video scenes but what are you gonna do this is real life this is always a pain with this particular one so at least when you get done seeing this you'll know that it is a pain and that's just the way it is Okay, look at that, we got it. Okay, the detent ball is in place. What it does is it rides around this cavity, this opening in the back, and just allows you to get that feeling when you turn the lock of where your off position is to pull out the key. It's things you don't even notice when you uh, own the vehicle, but it is there for a reason. We're going to put the plunger back in place through the little spring. It covers up that whole area there. There's no chance the ball coming out because it's now locked in place. Of course, if you wanted to take the lock apart, you would simply bring it all the way over to where it lines up there use a pin punch or something else to depress it pull this out of the way and then it would go flying right out you could pull the cylinder apart but this is the assembled lock with the detent release right there the key minder buzzer in place and of course if you were to turn this to the on position this would depress all the way and that's how you would get it out of the car Anyways, we're all done here with Stratex 707-624 Ford Ignition Lock Cylinder.